September, turtles will make their way out of the water and onto the beach. Their mission? To lay hundreds of eggs during nesting season. To ensure those eggs eventually hatch, the Department of Environment is on patrol. One thing that we're looking at is the number of nests. We want to have a good idea of uh, the nesting trend, whether the populations are in trouble. But also, it's important for us to find the nests because there's a lot of lights on the beach. If a nest is near a light, all the hatch sleeves, all the baby turtles will go up toward the light instead of going toward the sea, so they might end up in the road or they might end up in a parking lot. We're also looking for things like driving on the beach, which can crush nests. Janice Blumenthal has been looking for turtle tracks since 1998 when the Department of Environment's monitoring program got underway. She started out as a volunteer and later became a full-time paid employee. Others are following in her footsteps. At the moment, I'm actually studying environmental science. I think it's important to like take care of the natural resources we have, and I thought this would be a great way to start off. Living on my island the whole life, I actually never seen one until like last summer, until I started doing this. So I think it's pretty amazing that it actually happens. I've always been interested in uh, marine life. The islands used to be covered in turtles. Um, numbers are uh, diminishing quite a rapid rate. Um, and also just to be able to help the wildlife around the island is very, very beneficial to me. So we break the island up. We do um, the eastern half of the island twice a week and we do the western half of the island twice a week. And we have some people who check a beach for us near where they live or where they work. Um, and they'll check that beach in the morning or in the evening and they'll call us when they find a turtle nest. And then we also have a volunteer program where people come with us and we divide each beach up into sections and we check that together as a team. What they're looking for as they're walking along the beach is a turtle track and the turtle tracks are usually quite a bit bigger than people would think they would be. It'd be a couple of feet across um, and you can see a flipper mark um, where the turtle came up the beach and sometimes you can even see a drag mark right in the center um, from the turtle's tail. Um, and then there'll be a lot of digging uh, which is where the turtle um, laid her eggs. Years ago, DOE worked to spot several species of turtles nesting. But now only green sea turtles and loggerheads make their way up Cayman's beaches. Some take the trip up to six times throughout the summer, often nesting in the same spot. When the turtles come up on the beach, um, sometimes they'll lay a nest, but often they won't actually lay the eggs. Uh, either the sand is not the right consistency, it's too soft or it's too hard, or they hit rocks when they're digging, or something startles them, and they'll go back to the water without laying. So in order to count the actual number of nests that we have, it's really important for us to determine whether an activity, a turtle activity, is a nest or not. So the first thing we do if we find something that looks like a nest um, is to check and see if there are actually eggs. So we'll dig down in the area where the eggs would likely be and just confirm that the eggs are there. And then once we've found the location of those eggs, we take three measurements. And where those three measurements cross, that triangulates the position of the nest. And that's so that we can find it again just before it hatches. Well, so far this year we found about three loggerhead nests, which is about what I would expect. The nesting starts off slowly and there'll be more nesting later on in the summer. For people who are going to be um, checking a section of beach on their own time, maybe if they start work too early to come around with us, we usually hold a couple of training sessions each year that people are welcome to come to and we just teach them how to recognize a turtle track. Um, and then for the volunteers who come with us, we have them walk with someone experienced for the first few times until they've seen some nests and they know what they're looking for. So what can you do to help boost the turtle population? Well, if you live on the beach, you can remove chairs like this one or recreational equipment at night. And all residents can help keep nighttime noise levels down and avoid driving on the sand.